All right, so today we are testing the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT in Diablo 4. So I just want to show you, you can no longer select uh, exclusive full screen. So every time you change resolution, you actually have to restart the game as it takes the desktop resolution. But we'll be testing at uh, 1080p high. First, we are pairing this GPU with a 12400F Intel CPU with uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 MHz CL16 memory. Now you can see uh, uh, our uh, frame rate is uh, quite high. We're sitting at, well, it's uh, fluctuating quite a bit. The highs are uh, in, the, in the high 180s and then it drops down to about 120. So I just want to show you what happens uh, once you actually go into a dungeon here. Uh, the frame rate is pretty much the same, but it seems to reduce the stuttering, right? So it might make sense because it has to load in a lot less uh, world detail. But uh, the frame rate, as I said, stays pretty much the same. Just have a look at the VRAM usage there. We are sitting at uh, 7.8 gigabytes of VRAM used. Uh, remember, this is at uh, 1080p, and our system memory usage is sitting at 14 gig. Now, the system memory usage seems to be a bit less than last weekend during the closed beta, but it's still pretty high, seeing that we only have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Right, so you can see that there's still quite a lot of stuttering, even though it's not as pronounced as uh, when you are in the open world. But let's see what happens at medium. Right, we're now at 1080p medium, and you can see that we did get quite a big increase in the frame rate there. It went to about 180 frames per second at times, but it doesn't seem like the average increased uh, that much. So sure, we're getting around 170 frames per second average, whereas previously we got around 140. But uh, to be honest, this game is perfectly playable, even at 60 frames per second. So that uh, small 15% performance bump, uh, you have to decide whether it's worth it or not. Uh, our VRAM usage actually did decrease quite a lot, but uh, the funny part is that it keeps on uh, going up, and uh, even at 1080p medium, we still sometimes hit that 8 gigabyte frame buffer or VRAM buffer, right? Uh, it does uh, seem to be a little bit lower here in the dungeon, but uh, once we go outside again, it uh, does uh, shoot up to just below 8 gigabytes of VRAM allocation. Remember, that's uh, VRAM allocated, not necessarily VRAM usage, but uh, uh, what I've seen is that uh, the moment that actually goes above uh, your uh, dedicated VRAM on your GPU, the game starts to stutter quite a lot. All right, let's see what happens at 1080p low. All right, we're now at 1080p low, and you can see that we didn't really gain uh, that much. We are still back into the 180s again. Our GPU usage is sitting at 96% uh, usage, so it's definitely not a CPU bottleneck. And once we start fighting, it does drop uh, into the 150s again, so pretty much the same as medium. So definitely not worth it to drop down to low if you play on medium with an RX 5700 XT. Right, you can see that uh, the stuttering did seem to improve quite a bit uh, compared to the previous result, but uh, there's probably not a lot of uh, data to work off here. This dungeon might have just loaded into memory completely, uh, or it might just perform a bit better on low. But uh, I think this should be fixed in the retail version of the game, or I do hope that it's fixed in the retail version, because uh, these uh, stutters are actually pretty annoying. They're game-breaking at points, and uh, if you've got a GP like a 3070 Ti with only 8 gigabytes of VRAM and you can't play the game at 1080p high, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. So I really do think that it'll be resolved in the retail version and uh, we should see some performance improvements. The frame rate should probably stay the same, but the stuttering would be addressed. All right, so that's going to be it for our 1080p results. Let's see what happens once we bump the resolution up to 1440p. Right, we're now at 1440p high, and I'm going to be doing this event uh, for the benchmark run going forwards. Uh, that's called the Jar of Hearts, uh, or the Jar of Souls, uh, sorry, Christina. Uh, it just gives a more realistic uh, benchmark, I believe, because you'll be spending most of your time in the open world leveling, and there's quite a lot of these events. Uh, as I said, the frame rate actually stays pretty much the same uh, in the open world and in the dungeons both. But the stuttering in the open world seems to be a lot worse. Uh, once again, it should probably be fixed. I hope it does, but uh, we've already spoken about that. You can see that our frame rate does uh, dip into the high 60s at times, uh, even at uh, 1440p high. 
and uh, you can see that our VRAM usage is now over 8 gigabytes of VRAM allocated, right? And our system memory usage is sitting at about 13 gigabytes, which is quite a lot. All right, let's see what happens once we lower it down to medium. Right, so now we're at 1440p medium, and you can see that our frame rate actually increased quite a bit. It's uh, now more or less above 100 at most times. It drops down into the high 90s. I didn't really see it drop below 90 uh, during my previous testing. Uh, it might, but uh, this is a pretty good experience. Right, at 1440p medium on this uh, GPU, uh, I don't think uh, there's anything to be disappointed about. Right, uh, so there it dropped down below 90, but it's still uh, pretty good, uh, just collecting all these souls here, and uh, I think this is a pretty decent setting to use for this GPU. Alright, let's see what happens once we go down to low. Alright, and we're now at 1440p low. So there's not that big a difference in the frame rate. Uh, previously the highs were sitting in the 120s about and during action scenes it went down to the 90s. The highs seem to be a bit higher. I saw 130, 140 at times. Uh, but uh, I think the overall experience would pretty much be the same. So I think uh, 1440p medium settings are definitely something to consider if you've got an rx 5700 xt uh, one thing that i did notice about this game is that the world does feel a little bit more empty than all the previous games but hey let's see what happens at 4k all right we're now at 4k hi and uh sorry for this one it's going to be jumping all over the place uh, because uh, the world is very very empty and uh, the event hasn't restarted yet I'm not sure what's happening there so i'm just uh, cutting together quite a few action scenes here because uh, i can't find any monsters grouped together right you can see that we've got about 50 frames per second here which is definitely nothing to scoff at i mean this is not the latest gpu this was rdna 1 and we're already sitting with rdna 3 and uh, this gpu came out in 2019 i believe but uh, let's see what happens at medium all right we're now at 4k medium and we gained a couple of frames per second there uh, not a lot, uh, sure 10 frames per second is about 20% uh, based on our previous numbers but uh, it's definitely not where I'd be playing this game if I had this GPU uh, maybe 4k medium will give us a solid 60 frames per second experience uh, but just based on our previous testing going from medium to low didn't really increase the frame rate that much uh, all in all, this is definitely not a bad experience. Um, you don't need a high refresh rate experience to enjoy Diablo. Uh, I just think that you might run into issues with regards to the VRAM at some point. So let's go down to low. All right, we're now at 4K low end. Uh, surprisingly, our frame rate actually increased quite a bit, uh, which is uh, not what we saw at the previous resolutions. Uh, fighting, let's see if we managed to restart this event again. Let's see if it does uh, maintain 60 frames per second. I'm pressing the Windows key there. Uh, there it dropped to 30, um, but that was just me. Uh, but yeah, so it's not maintaining 60 frames per second. Once again, it's definitely not a necessity, but uh, it would be nice to to have but all in all this is pretty good for this gpu considering its history it came out in 2019 and it uh, was set to compete with the 1080 ti from nvidia now remember the 1080 ti actually released in 2017 so that uh, put amd at about a two-year disadvantage but it's nice to see that their gpus can still hold up today all right let's enable fsr here and let's see if we can maintain a solid 60 frames per second experience all right, so you can see that our frame rate actually increased quite a bit here. We went from uh, the 60, 70s to almost uh, 90 frames per second, but it does seem to hold its own when there's a lot of uh, combat on the screen. Uh, let's see if we'll be able to maintain 60 frames per second. I do think we should. Uh, we actually did not lose that much uh, visual fidelity. This is FSR quality. And at 4K, you can even go down to, I'd say, balanced uh, before you start noticing uh, visual degradation. Sure, there might be some increased uh, artifacting, etc. 
but uh, this is actually on a 32 inch monitor and FSR quality I'm not really able to spot that unless I pause the game and do pixel peeping etc etc but ain't nobody got time for that all right so it seems like we'll be able to maintain that 60 frames per second uh, actually quite a bit uh, more than that we didn't see it uh, drop down uh, into the 60s even uh, so I think if you've got an RX 5700 XT uh, play at uh, 1080p medium or even 1440p medium if you've got a 1440p panel if you've got a 4k panel then I'd suggest uh, you have to play on low and enable uh, FSR but if I had a 4k panel with this GPU then this is definitely the setting that I'd be using. Alright guys uh, that's going to be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if it did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one.